All right, I'm going to walk through how I created a Barbie movie trailer using all generative AI tools. So in this case, I used Google Bard instead of ChatGPT. You could use ChatGPT as well. I used Runway Gen 2, which is a text to video tool. Um, the version I used was on their Discord server, but um, now you can use it on their website. So I'll show you how to do both. We're also going to have 11 labs create uh, the voiceover for the trailer. I'm not using AI generated music, but it would be really easy to do that if, if you wanted to. So I ended up wanting to use Bard instead of ChatGPT. Google Bard is famously connected to the internet, so it can go look things up on the internet and come back. So if we're doing something like a movie trailer that there might be new updates, um, things might be new, I, I feel like Google Bard would have an inside uh, path to that. So that's why I use Google Bard in this case. So the first thing I'm going to ask Bard is, I'm going to keep this simple. Can you give me a condensed shot list that describes the Barbie movie trailer? And it thinks for a second. It's like, hmm, can I? All right, sure. Here's a condensed shot list. And it's got like all of these things and it's describing it pretty good. It knows what's in there. Some additional things. I'm not as worried about that. So this is not enough for me to do a movie trailer, so I'm going to ask it another question. So now I'm going to say, can you give me a shot list that contains 20 shots for the Barbie movie trailer? It's thinking it's going to try and come up with 20. Hopefully it gives us 20 things. It still knows what we're talking about. Sometimes it does this. I don't love it when it adds the external, internal, external stuff. Um, but that's okay, because what we're going to say is... Can you put that in a table without the interior, exterior headers? All right, so it's got the shot list. It doesn't have the interior, exterior stuff, which is good. Now, can you turn that shot list into a script and add a second column where the script corresponds to the shot? So basically, we're going to say, um, instead of saying Barbie is giving a speech to a group of people, Hopefully we're gonna have a voiceover and let's make sure that we say into a voiceover script. Cause we can't have Barbie talking. It's not, well you can, but there's other tools that would be involved. So we wanna just keep it a voiceover script um, cause we can generate the audio that way a little bit easier and we don't have to sync it up to anyone talking. So let's just do a voiceover script and add that to a second column. Okay, now this is looking good. So we've got a description here. This is what uh, is happening. This is the shot. And then there's a script. In a world where anything is possible, Barbie is about to embark on an amazing adventure. So it's given us a, um, a shot and a script for each of these things. So it's important to stress that there's still a lot of creative work that has to happen. This has done a lot of the heavy lifting, the early heavy lifting for me. But now it gives me more time to focus on being creative with what it's given me here. This would have taken me a long time to figure all of this stuff out. We did it really quickly here. Um, but when I look at this, I see things like Barbie and Ryan Gosling as Ken are surfing in the ocean. I know that that is not gonna work very well for what I want it to look like if I were gonna go for that shot. Like when I look at that, I'll have to say, you know, Barbie and Ken or a Barbie doll and a Ken doll are surfing in the ocean. So you're gonna have to make, you know, creative changes to make sure you're, um, getting the output that you wanted and not just cutting and pasting. Um, I think a lot of times people try to make it seem like all you really need to do is cut and paste from one AI system to another. Um, but then it's really just letting the AI do all the creative work and you're being the automation piece of it and you're a slower automation piece. So um, we want to be creative. So we're not going to necessarily just cut and paste from one to the other. Uh, we do need to cut and paste this script though, so let's just get it in a format that's a little bit easier to cut and paste than this table. So let's have it create a paragraph. So I'm going to ask, can you give me the script as a paragraph of text? We have the text here. So right now Google Bard has created the shot list. We're going to be able to use that shot list for Runway Gen 2, and it's created the script. Um, I'm going to use the script really quick, and we're going to take the script and go over to 11 Labs. Here's the website, it's in the description too. Currently, if you don't have an account, you can go in there and you get a certain amount of characters per day, and maybe just you get a certain amount period, and um, it'll just let you do it. So for a one minute video, we can do all of this for free without signing up. So let's paste our script in there, and 
if you'll notice, it says 333, so, and you can see it's cut it off. So there is a cutoff, so we're going to have to break this into two different chunks, at least two different chunks, I would say. So Barbie and her boyfriend Ken are always having fun. So let's see where oh, we're going to have to, probably the easiest thing to do would just be like do each one of these at a time. So um, I'm just going to go one by one. Although, you know what? Here's what I think we should do. We should get the most per generation that we can. So let's do it this way, and there'll be fewer. Um, I forget which one I used um, in the demo. I feel, I know it was one of the women, though, and I'm just going to go with Ellie. All right, so now it's, you see this is thing is spinning. In a world where anything is possible, Barbie is about to embark on an amazing adventure. She is the ultimate role model for girls everywhere. Cool. It sounds good. I'm going to download it by clicking this. Downloaded that file. So now I have Barbie and her boyfriend. Ken are always having fun and they always support each other. All right, to do the next section, I'm going to refresh the page. And I'm going to paste the new section in there. So it was about here. I'm going to grab about that much maybe, see if that will fit. Yeah, that fits. And then we're going to make sure we switch the name again. We're going to go back to Ellie and we're going to, it's thinking and thinking and thinking. They surf in the ocean, play tennis, and have picnics in the park. And we're going to download that one too. Then we're going to reload again, paste the next section, choose Ellie again. Thinking through, we're going to download that one. If you have 11 labs, you can actually just paste this entire thing at once. And this is not like any kind of paid promotion for them, but like I, I've pasted entire scripts like this and it works great. So, and it also, I think that it gives it a little more consistency. It knows this is all one script. So the delivery is consistent for that script. Reload the page one last time and choose Ellie again. And we're done. So we've got all of these clips downloaded. We have the audio for this script now. So AI generated the script. AI just generated the voiceover. Now we need AI to generate the video. And so um, we have this table still, and we can just go through and like copy and paste these. One thing that I did, and I'm gonna show you in a second, is there's seeds, there's something called a seed. And I want the shots to look fairly consistent across um, all of the things that I'm doing. So I'm going to use the same seed for all of them. Now you could just start out with the same seed and use it for everything, but I wanted to play around a little bit and find one that matched the style that I was going for. So I'll show you what I mean. This was the first one that I did. Um, giant Barbie dolls on a beach, vivid colors, 3D render, Unreal Engine. Um, and it gave me stuff that looks like this, which is not what the look that I was going for. There were some other ones that I tried and it was, they were fun, but they're not really like the Barbie look that matched the script. This was getting a little bit closer. You started to see, um, they look more like dolls in a dollhouse. This is definitely dolls in a dollhouse, but it's kind of strange too. Um, I kind of like it, but it's not what I was going for. Um, and then they started to get a little bit like maybe closer. This is like human version of Barbie. Um, this was kind of getting there too. This looks like claymation almost version of Barbie. And then this one, I was like, all right, like I had tried a bunch and I was like, this one looks pretty good. Like that's, that is a style. I don't know what that style is called. I, I realized since then, some people have said that looks more like a Bratz doll than a Barbie doll and apologies for that. Um, but to me, this was like, this looks like a cool like thing to build a trailer around. So I went with this one. And what I did is I grabbed the seed. So what you can do if you're like, wait, what does that mean, the seed? So the seed is kind of like the initial noise pattern when it's creating a video. So I, I don't fully understand it myself, but it's basically like the pattern. So it's like this random thing that it's starting with. Like if you imagine that you took a handful of seeds and threw a flower seeds and threw them out in your yard, they would all grow in a certain pattern. And if you um, threw them in the same exact pattern every single time and there's the same exact seeds landed in the same things, the flowers would always look the same, but if you took the handful of seeds, different seeds and threw them, then you'd get a different pattern. So I know that's not technically what's happening, but that's how I think about it. It helps me understand it a little bit more. If you're doing this on the runway site, you can just go into Gen 2, 
And then this is where you would put your prompts in. So I'm gonna use the same prompt that I used to find the style that I liked. So, but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna change this seed. This is a random seed and it's different than the one that I use. So let's just see what happens. I'm really curious to see too, if this will, um, if I put the seed in here now that it's officially released, if it looks like the one that I did when it was on the Discord server. So let's wait a second and um, I'll come back in one second when this is done and then we'll put my seed in and see. Okay, this is how it looks. I, I kind of think it looks better in some ways. I feel like, I don't know, maybe they improved it since they launched it, but let's look and let's put my seed in. So this is just the randomly generated seed, right? Instead of this random seed, I'm gonna click lock it in and then I'm gonna paste my seed in there, 962. And then maybe I should just lock it in there just to make sure. So it's locked in there and then I'm gonna hit generate again. So now let's see what happens. Okay, that's how that looks. Like, look at that. So it, th these were done, you know, uh, almost a month apart using the same exact prompt, using the same exact seed. This is the one that I did on, you know, May 19th on the Runway Discord server. We're just using the same exact prompt and the same exact seed. And now I'm able to regenerate that same exact clip on the Runway site. And it looks pretty much the same. If you're in the runway site, this is what you'll do. You'll just, you'll have your seed locked in here with the lock, and then you'll just paste all of your prompts in, generate. All right, the other thing to make sure that you're keeping an eye on is the number of seconds that you have left. Each generation is four seconds, and if you don't like the one, it's still gonna take away four more seconds. So um, just kind of plan that out when you're um, creating these things just don't go crazy generating because it's going to take away four seconds from here each time so be very intentional so what i started doing is pasting the prompts um, i didn't use the names of the actors anymore once i figured out the style i wanted i just wanted to say a barbie doll and a ken doll driving in a pink you know convertible and then i did this dash dash s and then the seed number and that way i added that to all of my uh, prompts. So what you could do too to make this easier. So if you'll notice you have to have at gen 2 blah 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 blah. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to have it do give it to me in the format that I can just paste into runway gen 2 in the discord server. So I'm going to use at gen 2 the description and then I'm going to put the seed in there and I have to make sure it goes dash dash s that's like a control switch that says use the seed. You could also spell out seed, but you don't need to. You can just use the first letter. Um, and now they're all going to have this format. So let's see. Excellent. Now I have all of the prompts that I need. So I have the at Gen 2, I have the text that it gave me, and I have this. And like I said, I'm not using exactly cut and paste. You could go through and make changes as you go. Um, I would just do it as I, as I go along. So I'm just gonna copy that. It has the Gen 2, it has the prompt, and it has the seed number. So you can just go through and just start pasting, generating, pasting, generating. And if you're not doing this on Discord, you're doing this within Runway itself, you can just do the same thing. You go to Gen 2, you don't need the at Gen 2 here. You would just paste your prompt in there. Make sure that you're using the seed, that you paste the seed that you want in there and that that lock is there to kind of lock it in. So generated all the clips and then edited them in CapCut. Here's the voiceover clips that we created in um, 11 Labs. So I'm just gonna drag that one there and then grab the second one, line it up, third one, line it up, and then the fourth one, line it up. All right, so now I've got my voiceover that I'm gonna time all of my clips to. So what I did is like I had them all here. Um, I'm not gonna bring them all in. This is just a part of the demo, but I've got all my clips here so I can kind of look through and make sure like some of them turned out strange like that one. You didn't see those in the final. Um, so let's just say, I'm just gonna put clips down there. So now I get to do all the creative work. I, I get to figure out how all of these clips and this voiceover are gonna come together for a trailer. So this is like what video editing is like this is you know you're getting footage you're getting script you don't always have control over the content that you're getting we have a, we have more control i would argue in some ways with the generative ai because we can take what it generates and then we can iterate on top of that and really control our vision for what we want 
So I think it's really cool because now I've got, you know, footage that I want. Not every shot is exactly what I want. Um, but, you know, I could have made adjustments to the script if I wanted to. I could have chosen a different voice. This is where the human creativity part comes into play. I get to sit down and play with this now and try and figure out how to make this come to life. And if there's something that I don't like, I can have it easily re-recorded with the script. Or if there's a shot I'm missing, I can really easily go back and create another shot. Just to recap, what we have here is this MP3, which is from the script. We have the video footage, which is from these descriptions. And now me as the human is going to go through and just edit this and turn this into a wonderful movie trailer. So um, I hope that's helpful. Hopefully it didn't go too far off track, but all of this stuff is really new and it's really exciting. So if you feel like you don't understand it or you feel like you're falling behind, like don't feel that way. Like everyone is trying to figure this stuff out. Um, just dive in, play around um, and have fun with it. This is such an exciting time to be um, making generative AI videos. So go have fun, go make something weird with AI and um, share a link in the comments if you make something cool. Or if you make something terrible, show that too. All right, thanks for watching. There are links to the tools that I used in the description. And there's also a link to the Barbie trailer that I created um, previously.